Rider Nation, what's going on? Luke Mullender back here with you. Another players only conversation. This time we're going all the way out to Waterloo, Ontario, checking in with our man, S.A. Ribure. Man, he's in the middle of his offseason, actually, the end of his offseason workouts. How's it going, yeah. man? You ready to compete? Yeah, I'm feeling good, bro. Um, my mind feels good, my body feels good. Confident and feel ready. And there you go. And they've. Uh, Obviously, you're a guy who's listed about 250, 260, a guy that can probably play defensive end and defensive tackle. Obviously, the more you can do in the CFL, the better. Um, you yeah. work in both positions, D tackle and defensive end? Yeah, I have. Um, and actually, um, <laughs> it's funny, I'm actually uh, 277. Oh, you put on some weight. Yeah, I mean, I've been that for a little bit of the season, but yeah. It'll be your second year in the Chris Jones defense this year. Uh, what are some aspects that you're really looking forward to, especially since you've been in the offseason working your hands and, and obviously tailoring it around that game? Uh, well, after getting a full season under my belt, I uh, feel like my confidence is there now. I really caught my stride near the end, ending of the season. I've just been working on everything that I've done well, adding more to it. Ed Fillion, uh, your position coach, was actually a guy who played around that 265, 275 mark, and he was a league all-star. Um, what yeah. have you taken from Ed Fillion in terms of what he brought to his game, and how have you applied it to your off-season film study? Um, I've definitely applied more of uh, his aggressive play and um, his power move. I know myself as a former pro, you know, you get around the late parts of April, and especially into May, you really start itching uh, to play some football and getting ready here. But, uh, hey, man, what have you been doing throughout the offseason other than focusing on football? Um, I mean, I've been a part of three uh, skills camps in offseason, uh, one in Mississauga, one in Cambridge, and there. Uh, um, I've been doing a lot of that. Spending time with family, with friends, hmm. relaxing, and really just kind of focusing and training, driving back and forth from this dog to Waterloo, making sure I'm doing everything I can, take care of my body, just get ready for the season. Around uh, the middle of May, players start trickling back into Regina. When are you plan to get back to the Queen City and get rolling here with us, man? I'm thinking uh, mid to mid to late June or not. Mid Sorry, mid to late uh, May. Mid to late May. All right, mid and for the Rider Nation followers that are big fans of yours, how can they get a hold of you? What's your IG and your Twitter accounts, man? How, <laughs> how, we, how we get to S.A. Rabure? Uh, well, um, most of my uh, social media, you can find me at emrabajufo. Uh, I'm pretty sure Twitter is emrabajufo99. That's E-M-R-A-B-A-J-U-F-O-99. Um, on Twitter and then on Instagram, you can find me at the same thing, just not without the 99 at the end. All right, man. Hey, well, we'll let you get back to your off-season workouts. Thanks for joining us here on Riderville.com, man. Can't wait to see you on the field competing this June. All right, sounds good. Thanks for having me. Take care. Take care.